dear friend welcome to the lecture series in microprocessors and microcontroller in today's video lecture we are going to discuss about the memory segmentation of 8086 microprocessor especially we are going to talk about the need for segmentation what actually the memory segmentation is the concept of segment overlapping and finally we discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of segmentation what is the need for the uh, segmentation let us take one example let us have the houses up to 100 and we just arranged all these houses linearly so we have given the number 1 2 3 4 up to 100 now if we want to go to the house number 72 now what we have to do we have to search each and every house and somewhere else we get 70 second house and we can easy, uh, we can identify that we can also do the same thing in other way anyhow if we go for the searching of that particular house we call that one as linear addressing now the same thing can also be done in other way by arranging all the 100 houses as 10 rows and 10 columns so when we arrange all the 100 houses into 10 rows and 10 columns and now if we concentrate to identify the 72nd house then we simply choose the seventh row and we choose the second column so that that 72nd house will be easily identified now this type of identification of the house we call as segmented addressing if we compare this linear addressing and segmented addressing we feel easy in case of segmented addressing because here we can simply select the row and we select the column so wherever those two are meeting that particular point becomes our interested house so in the same way we are going to deal with the memory which is physically available for the 8086 microprocessor the segmented addressing is also uh, uh, called as the indexing is also called as the indexing so in order to identify this particular indexing we can uh, also go for uh, uh, another example let us take uh, the textbook let us take the textbook if you see the textbook Uh, in the front pages you know uh, the contents will be available and the contents will be having the chapter name and uh, sub topics as well as the page numbers at the same time at the end there will be provided with the index now if if you don't have the contents as well as the index in the textbook if somebody ask you a particular topic where it was there now what we do we keep searching all the pages from the beginning to ending of the chapter and we spend much time to identify that particular topic in that particular textbook so now if we see the contents we can easily go to the chapters and we can see in which page number that particular topic is there we can choose that or else we will go to the index and we search for that particular term and the term will be indicated in a particular page so we can go to directly that page and we can show yes that particular topic is in this particular page so this way we are going to easily identify or address that particular item in that particular page number right so these two examples may uh, give you the clarity about uh, the need of the segmentation so the basic purpose of this segmentation is that it improves the a processor or process speed and it will be so easy now what actually memory segmentation is and we are going to discuss in technical terms what could be the need for the memory segmentation we know the memory segmentation is the process in which the physically accessible memory is divided into different logical memory segments and each segment has its own base address we call that one as memory segmentation basically 
this memory segmentation the basic need of the memory segmentation is to enhance the speed of execution of the system so that the processor is able to fetch execute the data from the memory easily and fast that we have seen in the previous example now the 8086 microprocessor has 20 address lines so by taking the 2 raised to the power 20 it gives us 1mb of accessible memory and this particular memory is now divided into 16 logical segments so the size of each segment will be 64 kb size by taking the ratio of 1mb memory which is divided by 16 logical segment so that it gives the size of each logical segment that is equivalent to 64 kb out of these 16 logical segments we name four segments as core segment data segment stash segment and extra segment apart from that based on the requirement any other logical segment can be used by selecting and naming as any one of the four segment for example you are working with the data segment that data segment is having 64 kb now that 64 kb is not sufficient for your process then we have to choose any one of the remaining 12 segments select that one and by properly utilizing the assembler directive you can take and you can assume that as a data segment then you can use that particular segment as your data segment in the same way when you are working with a core segment which is of 64 kb and if it is not sufficient and you can select the remaining segment any one of the remaining segment and you can name that one as core segment and I, again you can use it for your purpose right as per uh, uh, the core segment right so this way based on your requirement you can choose any one of the segment and you can name it now each segment is made up of contiguous memory locations and each segment is independent separately addressable unit and the starting addresses will always be changing and it will not be fixed if you take any segment if you give an address it is not fixed next time that address may be changed that means you can select any other address and from that address your segment may start so it is not fixed so the address of the segments may be assigned as 0000h2 f0000h respectively because we have 16 segment right so from 0 to f so we will be having the 16 segment and we have represented that in hexadecimal and the offset addresses values from 0000h to f f h so this entire range gives us uh, the 64 kb size or 64 k locations so that the physical address ranging from Double zero triple zero H two double F triple F H, right? So these are the twenty bit addresses. So we we uh, we have another video on the physical address generation. Please watch that video also to get the concept of how to calculate uh, the physical address in eight zero eight six microprocessor. Now we are discussing about the segments in the memory. There are sixteen segments. and in the bus interface unit we will be having the 16 bit special purpose segment register which are related to the logical memory segment they are code segment register and this particular code segment register is used for addressing memory location in the code segment of the memory where the executable program is stored and we have data segment register related to the data segment it points to the data segment of the memory where the data is stored and we have extra segment register it is referring to a segment in the memory which is another data segment in the memory and coming to the last segment register that is stack segment register indicated with ss is used for addressing stack segment of the memory 
and the stack segment is that segment of memory which is used to store the stack data now shall we go for the segmentations as we wish then certainly it is not there are two rules or certain rules which compulsory should be needed for the segmentation the first one is the starting address of a segment should be such that it can be evenly divided by 16 and the minimum size of a segment can be 16 bytes and the maximum can be of 64 kb these two must be satisfied now let us talk about the segment overlapping the concept of segment overlapping now let us take a situation non overlapped segment so we take a particular segment which starts at a particular address and we know that segment size will be 64 kb now we will be having another segment which will be starting after the first segment that means after the 64 kb size of the previous segment then those two segments are said to be non overlap segments right now let us have the physical memory here this physical memory is of 1 mb size now let us consider a segment 1 now the size of the segment 1 is 64 kb the segment 1 is starting at 1000 h right now within the segment there are 64 k locations those are indicated with the addresses 00000h2 ff ff h right so after this you will be having this second segment now the starting address of the second segment is 2500h now this particular second segment is having the 64 kb size now within the segment 2 there are 64k locations or memory location they are starting from 0000h2 ff ff h like this in the entire physical memory there will be 16 segments that we can choose now if you look at the segment 2 the segment 2 is started after the segment 1 so there is nothing to find these two segments are overlapped so this is called as the non overlapped segmentation now here the code segment and ip1 and uh, code segment 2 and ip2 are used to uh, calculate the physical addresses now let us go for another case and here we are talking about the overlapping segment now as the title is saying overlapping so the memory overlapping will happen the segmented memory overlapping will happen so in that case we say it is overlapping segment so let us take a segment which starts at a particular address whose size is 64 kb but if another segment starts within the 64 kb location of the first segment then the two are said to be overlapping segments let us consider the physical memory here right now this physical memory considering this one as the segment 1 so this is the segment 1 this particular segment is starting at 1000h and the size of the segment 1 will be 64 kb and the starting uh, address within the uh, uh, memory size of 64 kb it is starting at 0000h and it ends at double f double f h now we will be having the segment 2 now this segment 2 is started at a particular location that is 1a 01h now this particular second segment is also having the size as 64 kb and for this memory the starting address is 0000h and the end address is ff ff h if you observe here this particular location is overlapped this particular memory locations are overlap so this thing we are calling as overlap memory and here the segments areas are overlapped so we call the concept as overlapping segment so in case of the segmentation there is a chance of getting overlapping segmentation now 
what are the various advantages that we can observe in the segmentation it provides a powerful memory management mechanism the data related or stack related operations can be performed in different segment code related operation can be done in separate code segment it allows to process to easily share the data it allows to extend the addressability of the processor it is possible to enhance the memory size of the code data or stack segments beyond the 64 kb by allotting more than one segment for each area apart from these advantages of the memory segmentation it also suffer from the one of the disadvantage although Uh, the total memory is uh, 1 MB. 16 into 64 KB gives us 1 MB. At a time, only four segments of 4 into 64 KB of size can be accessed. Hope you got the concept of need for segmentation. What actually memory segmentation and the segmentation overlapping concept, advantages as well as the disadvantages. do like comment share and subscribe my channel for more technical content thanks for watching